Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to represent the tenths or the one tenth or the decimal number point one on number line. Before we actually learn how to represent this number, let me reiterate some few concepts about the number line. Here you can see a number line 0, 1, 2, 3. This is the space between 0 and 1 and I have divided this number with or this space into 10 equal parts. Now we already have learned that if I divide this into 10 equal parts and then if I try and represent this the first part as fraction I will be saying this as 1 by 10. The same way the second part will be represented by 2 by 10 the third by 3 by 10 and so on. So the ninth or the last second last part will be 9 by 10 and here the last part is actually 10 by 10 that is 1. The first part can even say it is 0. So here this is 10 equal parts 1, 2, 3 and so on 10 equal parts. Now, if I have to represent a number 0, 0.2, how can you convert this into fraction? This will be converted into fraction as 0 plus 2 by 10. So that means it is after 0 for 2 parts. How many parts? 2 parts. So, this is the first part, this is the second part. So 0 0.2 is represented over here. Let's take one more example of 1.9. That means this number is greater than 1 after this and it is 9 parts out of 10 from 1. So let's say we have a number here 1 to 2 let's say this space is divided again into 10 equal parts and this is at the ninth part so this will be 1.9 so let's summarize this or let's conceptualize what exactly is how we are exactly representing this the first thing take care is what is the whole number here it was 0 here it was 1 so let's decide let's take one more example of 2.3 so 2 will become a whole number so the number is greater than 2 okay now as it is 0.3 that means we already have understood this thing that this number as it is 2.3 it is greater than 2 but smaller than 3. That means it lies between 2 and 3. Because if it would have been a 3 then it would be 2 plus 10 by 10. That is 2 plus 1. If I have to go to 3 I have to move 10 more parts. If, I, if this is divided into equal space of 10. So this is the first, second part, third part. This is the ninth part and this will become the tenth part. So if I have to move or say 3. 3 is actually 2 plus 10 more parts. If I have to say 2.9 or 2.3. Then 2.3 is 2 plus 3 more different parts or 3 more parts. So this will be 2.3. Same way. Let's take one more example of 4.6. Oh sorry. We do not have 4 here. Let's take uh, 2.6. So 2.6 again the same rule applies. It is greater than 2 but as it is not having all the 10 parts it is less than 3. 
so that means it lies somewhere between 2 and 3 and it is having 6 parts more than 2 that is 2.6 is represented by 2 plus 6 by 10 so that means this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 this is 2.6 so I hope this is clear. Let me move to the next example. Now we have to decide here that point 8 and 5.1 where do actually they sit on this number line or between which two whole numbers this lies and we have to even say a second thing which of these whole numbers is nearer the number. So, let us first take the first example or first uh, question point 8. Now 0 0.8 in the previous previous learning only we have learned that what is the whole number here? The whole number is 0. That means a number is greater than 0. But as it is not complete, it is having a parts of 8 by 10, it is smaller than 1. That means, that means the number 0 0.8 lies between 0 and 1. Okay, so that answers our first question between which two whole numbers on the number lines are the given numbers like. So 0 0.8 lies between 0 and 1. Now what is the next question? Which of these whole numbers is nearer to the number? Now the number is 0 0.8. That means it has shifted 8 parts out of 10 from 0. To come to 1 it has to just move 2 more parts. So that means the number is more nearer to 1. So you can say that 1 is nearer to 0 0.8 than 0. Let's take one more example of 5.1. So what is the whole number here? 5. So it is 5.1 is greater than 5. As it is having a decimal number, it is smaller than the whole number 6. So it lies between 5 and 6. Now we have to consider how much it has moved from 5 out of 10 parts because when I say point 1 it is actually I am having 10 parts and I am using only one part. So I am shifting only one part out of 10 has been shifted. Whereas 9 parts are still to be shifted to go to 6. So this number I can say is more closer to 5. Again as a simple thumb line rule you can say that any decimal number which is smaller than 0.5 is more nearer to the smaller number, let's say in this case the smaller number is 5, the bigger number is 6 and if a number, decimal number is more greater than 0.5, it is more nearer to the upper number. This is the lower number, this is the upper number. Okay, so this lies, 5.1 lies between 5 and 6, it is nearer to 5 as it is smaller than 0.5. I have explained you the reason because it has already shifted, only shifted one, one part out of the 10 part. And here point 8 has shifted 8 parts out of 10, which is more near towards the upper number 1. As a thumb line rule, whichever is smaller than 0.5 is more near to a lower number, whichever is greater than 0.5 is more near to the upper number. Let's Try and understand what's the next question. Write the decimal number represented by the points A, B, C, D on the given number line. Now, here there is a number line. 
If you see here, the number line is divided into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 equal parts for between 0 and 1, 10 equal parts between 1 and 2, and 10 equal parts between uh, 2 and 3. Now we have tried to represent what the number A is. The number A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. At the 8th part of 10, between 0 and 1. So that means it is 0 plus, we have to take the lower number, 8 by 10. That gives me the number 0 0.8. Now let's try and solve for B. B is between, is 2 parts, 3rd, 1, 2 and 3rd. Third. 3rd third part from the 1. So it is 3 by 10 between 1 and 2. So you can say it is 1 plus 3 by 10. That is same for the C. C is 1, 2. 2 parts from 2 between 2 and 3. So it is 2 plus 2 by 10, that is 2.2. Same way for B. B is between 2 and 3. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it is at the ninth part out of 10 between 2 and 3 represented by 2 plus 9 by 10.